everyone. I'm super excited today to share with you my long-term investment and life-changing experience. That is what I did to my teeth. I recently got veneers. Yes, veneers and they are zirconia. So why zirconia? I'll talk about it in a while. But first, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell on so you'll get updated each time I upload a new video. And for those who are new here, my name is MC. I'm into luxury, fashion, and lifestyle. Super excited, but nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the, the shade matches her skin complexion, and then the shade also matches her full facial appearance. So we did digital smile design and digital impression. So the procedure was very smooth. Um, there were no gagging at all. It was not messy because it was not the conventional impression thing. So yeah, I wow. hope Mom MC is happy. <laughs> yeah, I'm very happy. Doc, can you tell me, uh, can you tell them where is your uh, clinic? Um, so we are the dental center. We are located in Molina 6, Baco or Cavite. You can message our Facebook page, so the dental center page. Yeah, see you guys. Thank you. I'm happy with it. This video is a little bit chatty, so make sure to grab your tea or coffee. But I'll try to make it as brief and concise as possible. So going back to the question, why zirconia? Zirconia is one of the hardest materials in dentistry and is highly aesthetic. It is very durable but very pricey. <laughs> yes, way pricey than the composite and porcelain or Emax veneers. And that's the reason why I chose it. They can last for a very long time, of course, with proper uh, care and good oral hygiene, just like what you do with your original teeth. They can last up to 20 or 30 years or even more. Now, I'm gonna show them to you right now, up close. I have reasons for wanting the veneer for so long, but I hesitated several times. In fact, I have consulted quite a few dentists about it, but still, I can't be convinced because of the a procedure and the possible pain you know my pain tolerance is very low and I mentioned this about this uh, in the past so number one reason is I have some gaps especially in front of my teeth uh, the the center or the two front teeth here I have diastema and number two I wanted to change the appearance of my front or smile because they are so my teeth are small or smaller than the regular teeth and I want to lengthen them and this was the main reason actually why I also had gingivectomy or gum contour surgery when I laugh or smile to the max my gum show which is so annoying anyway this was the first step or procedure by my dentist uh, before the actual veneer procedure it was actually a suggestion um, I didn't know about the gum contour, contouring or you know but I was convinced to have it on me so I finally decided to uh, go on with it so reason number three my feet were yellowish and I really wanted a whiter shade so whenever I wear pink lipstick it doesn't look good on me and by the way my dentist recommended uh, Ivoclar shade 2A130 yes uh, 2A130 and I agreed I love it because the shade is natural looking and it's best suitable for me here's a photo taken after the gingivectomy my gums were still swollen and bloody <laughs> but I noticed a difference already like my teeth became taller and uh, bigger so I hesitated once again whether I would push through with the uh, veneering or not but at the end of the day 
I decided to go on with it. So after a week of healing, I went back to the clinic for the actual proce procedure, which is grinding. I was assured by my good dentist that there would be a minimal surface reduction and I trusted him so I took like it took like four hours three and a half or four hours for the overall procedure from anesthesia to grinding to digital uh, impression scanning which I absolutely prefer than the traditional impression which is sometimes painful uh, to me up to the installation of temporary teeth or veneers the temp the temps by the way look so beautiful but was only made of plastic it's just one piece of uh temporary <laughs> to cover your prep teeth and you'll feel sensitivity after that especially when you drink uh, cold uh, liquid so on the after another week which was my third week i came back to the clinic for the removal of my temps and uh, for the try-in of my new veneers and I was grateful that they fit me for the first time thanks to the digital impression otherwise they'll bring them back to the lab for a uh, necessary adjustment in which case there will be another set of anesthesia I was really surprised with the result they look so amazing beautiful bolder to my liking whiter but not so much like the tiles you normally see in the bathroom <laughs> uh, not like the piano keys or the refrigerator which are very white i've chosen a shade that will absolutely match my skin tone so they look perfect on me i believe i also thought it's a worthwhile investment because it boosts your confidence veneers are not just for aesthetic or cosmetic purposes but they protect teeth from further uh, damages like tooth decay you know as we get older our gums and teeth uh, weaken so you just have to visit your dentist every six months for cleaning and check up for me they didn't just improve my teeth appearance but my smile as well i really love the small design my dentist created for me the only thing is my lower teeth are yet to be done after two to three months because according to my dentist i have to get used to my upper veneers first so he can do my lower because of bite issues so is dental veneer procedure painful in my experience it was not because i was numbed during the entire procedure from the gum contouring up until final veneer installation they applied uh, topical anesthesia first before injecting the local anesthesia it was like one anesthesia or injection per tooth so you won't feel any pain but there was one occasion where I felt uh, pain on my left canine but in fairness to my dentist he was so thoughtful uh, about how and what I felt at the time so after the gingivectomy rather i was prescribed with antibiotics for fast healing and uh, painkiller as well another pain reliever after the teeth grinding procedure because you'll feel pain during the first few days whenever you drink cold water which was why my dentist uh, told me not to do or to avoid but i could not <laughs> well despite the temporary veneer i was wearing i still feel you know uh, pain uh, but right now the pain is totally gone but I'm still adapting uh, adjusting uh, with my smile bite you know <laughs> I have to practice how to smile a smile like this so how much do zirconia veneers cost the honest answer to that is it depends on the complexity of the case, the clinic, and the dentist's uh, expertise, as well as the ceramist. Zirconia ranges from 25 to 30,000 pesos per tooth, and it goes up when you have other procedures or surgeries needed before the veneering, such as gum contouring, filling, etc. But once you have your teeth done, it is irreversible. But they give you the smile that everyone wants 
and if you decide in the future that you don't want them anymore do consider that you can't have your old teeth back so it's something that you have to think uh, very carefully so there you go thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up for comments suggestions or anything you can uh, include them in the comment section down below i'll get back to you as soon as i can i'll see you on my next one